From Alper and Schengen waiting to explode onto the scene to Victor Wembanyama being the most obvious pick for the 2023 NBA Draft, here are the best up-and-comers in the NBA. I've gotta start with the Turkish sensation plying his trade in Houston Alperen Schengen. This kid is magic, folks. And from what I can tell, 2024 is gonna be a breakout year for him. Now, Schengen profiles as a center, and his rebounding numbers were up there in the 2022 season. But here's the deal. He's also got elite handles, can score for fun, and is an offensive nightmare for teams to handle. Given his skill set, it'd be ideal for the Rockets to sign another big man like Shen Gun, and him as a forward, like the Lakers did with Anthony Davis in 2020. Is he as explosive as AD? Probably not, but he's more of a slippery star with lots of tricks up his sleeve. I mean, the guy played 75 games for Houston and managed to score 15 points per game. That's a staggering 55% shooting from the field, and I'm only expecting these numbers to rise. He's grabbed nine rebounds, nearly twice as many as his rookie campaign, while coming up with four assists as well. Definitely one of the best big men in the NBA, and given the height he's surrounded by in Houston, it's the perfect place for his development. Now, if Schengen's one of the best up-and-coming centers, then Jaden McDaniels has to be one of the most impressive defenders in the 2022-23 season. I mean, if someone can handle the LeBron James challenge at 22, then that kid is definitely special. Can you imagine if he hadn't punched that wall and injured his hand? It's honestly one of the dumbest ideas anyone's ever had. And it cost the T-Wolves. Apart from that brain fart right at the end, Jaden was nearly ever present, playing 79 games for Minnesota, shooting nearly 40% from the range, and coming up with a very healthy 12 points per game. He also averaged two blocks plus steals per contest, and he's definitely going to be a player to look out for in the 2023-24 season. Talking about players to look out for, OKC's Josh Giddy is a serious talent, by the way. The only thing not going in Josh's favor during his rookie season was his shooting. He shot a poor 42% from the field, averaging a much worse 26% from beyond the arc. Apart from that, Giddy's an all-purpose player, averaging 15 points per contest, while coming up with 8 rebounds and over 6 assists per game. For a player wrapping up only his second season in the NBA, these are exceptional numbers. And if you watch him play, you'll realize that it's not just the numbers, he's also very smart and mature. Giddy's shooting numbers went up significantly. In the 2022 season, he crossed 48% from the field as he averaged 32.5% from the range. There's still room to grow for the young Australian, and I'm expecting a very bright future in store for him. On the topic of talented Joshes from down under, don't sleep on Josh Green. He might be linked with a move away from Dallas, but the Mavericks would be stupid to lose out on Green. The young Aussie's one of the most impressive shooters in the league, and he's outrageously good from beyond the range, averaging over 40%. As a shooting guard, his PPG isn't where it should be, but cut the guy some slack, he's been struggling with injuries. Analysts are backing him to have a big breakthrough year in 2023, and his numbers definitely suggest that. His shooting percentage has improved significantly every season he's spent in the NBA, and I don't see why that won't happen in the upcoming campaign either. There's a lot of room for improvement in his all-around game, but as long as he sticks with the Mavericks, he wouldn't need to worry about ball handling, cause Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving have that side covered. Someone who's already had a breakthrough season, Walker Kessler, will be hoping to build on all that promise in 2023. Not many rookies can claim to change the fortunes of their franchise in their first season, but Walker Kessler definitely did that in Utah. The big man averaged over 8 rebounds per game while coming up with more than 9 points per contest. He's all but primed for a double-double in his second season, and has also built a reputation for being an elite blocker. At one point during the 2022 season, Kessler was producing more than 4 blocks per game, and that should tell you just how special he really is. I'd like to see more of Kessler on the offense, cause he's got the ability to make jumpers too. But can he do it on a consistent basis? I don't know if Kessler can produce those jumpers, but Shaden Sharp's already got that on lock. I won't lie, I was fuming when I found out that the Portland Trailblazers were looking to trade Sharp away. That would have been a horrible mistake. As much as everyone loves Damian Lillard, he's the one who should leave the franchise. It's the best decision for all parties involved, and the Blazers can start fresh with the young and talented roster they've got. 
Sharp was the only bright spot for Portland in a nightmare season, coming into his own in the back end of the campaign when the Blazers had shut down the rest of their roster. Some of the performances he dropped toward the end of the season were nuts, and it didn't even look like he was playing in his rookie campaign. In his last 10 games, Sharp averaged 23.7 points per outing, along with 5.8 rebounds and 4.2 assists. Just put him next to Anthony Simons and Scoot Henderson, you've got a team. That's because Scoot has the highest floor of any player in his draft class. Don't get me wrong, his ceiling's still much lower compared to Victor Wembanyama and Alsar Thompson at least, but he'd probably be the most ready-to-go player when the 2023-24 season kicks off. Henderson has the energy you need to make it big in the league, and something tells me that he'll quickly establish himself as a 20-point scorer in the league. It obviously helps to get more playing time, especially if Dame's out of Portland, and he'll get plenty of opportunities to shine for his new team. I love Scoot, but the 2023 Summer League has convinced me that the Thompson Twins are a different gravy. They became the first twins to be selected as top 10 picks in the same draft. And I'm sure that's not the only piece of history they'll make in 2023. Amen Thompson likes to play as the ball handler and has the skills needed to become a consistent playmaker. I love how quick he is, while also excelling with spacers around him. Amen's got the ability to find the right pass, while also finishing strongly at the rim. To me, he seems like the perfect addition to the Rockets' backcourt. And next to Fred Van Vliet, he'll get to learn the trade fast enough. His twin, Osar, who went fifth overall to the Detroit Pistons, is just as good. I'm sure Monty's already convinced of Osar's talent, and while there's still a little bit of work left to be done on turnovers, he's a menace on defense, coming up with four steals and two blocks, and being an annoyingly disruptive presence on defense. But there's a reason none of the Thompson twins or Henderson went at second. Brandon Miller did, and the Hornets rookie forward impressed for the first time in the Summer League, against the Trail Blazers scoring 26 points. The 6'9 forward is a huge Paul George fan, and the way he played in Vegas against Portland, it definitely looked like a performance inspired by PG-13. The Hornets have a special talent on their hands, and I'm so excited to see him next to LaMelo Ball in the 2023-24 season. Nothing excites me more than the best up-and-comer Victor Wembanyama. What can I say about Wemby that hasn't been said already? He's a superstar, who in the worst-case scenario will be a better version of Kristaps Porzingis. In the best-case scenario, I think we're looking at an all-time great, with at least multiple rings to his name. A 7'3 giant, who handles the ball like a point guard and can shoot for fun from anywhere on the pitch, Victor's seriously special. He's so good that the Frenchman's convinced Pop to extend his contract with the San Antonio Spurs, and that means he'll get the best help possible to reach his true potential. There hasn't been a talent more hype than Wembenyama since LeBron James back in 2003, and you can understand why there's so much excitement around him. So, from Victor Wembanyama being the most obvious pick for the 2023 NBA Draft, to Alperen Schengen waiting to explode onto the scene, these were the best up-and-comers in the NBA.